Welcome to this demonstration of a LubriCheck oil tester, the blood tester for your car. The LubriCheck has a slide-off cover. Inside you'll notice some abbreviated instructions. The LubriCheck needs to be clean before use. It's very sensitive. So we're taking some very soft toilet tissue or facial tissue and rubbing very firmly in a circular motion to make sure all the oil is removed from between the traces and around the perimeter. We select gas because this is a gas engine and we switch it on without putting any oil in it first. The LubriCheck will then blink number 1 and 10 indicating it's ready for the oil sample. We're going to get the sample from a dipstick. Uh, now like most dipsticks this doesn't hold a lot of oil and so it's going to take us maybe four or five trips back into the oil pan of the engine to get enough oil. It's important that you do not test the oil when it's hot because it'll bias the result and actually give you a, a worse number than it, than it should for the quality of the oil. So make sure the oil and the lubricheck is about the same temperature, preferably uh, room temperature. Uh, after we get enough oil it will be up to the top of the ring around the center. You see that little ridge at the center of the cup. With this, with this trip now we will have it up to, uh, up to the ring. With that in place we press the test button. You'll notice that the lights scroll up and down and then settle on LED 8. LED 8 indicates the oil is in fair condition. It's of course your decision how long you want to run the oil but we recommend you get up to 8 or 9 it's a good time to change the oil. To remove the oil, we blot most of it out with a cloth, a rag, a cotton rag, but then go again with, with uh, soft tissue, press firmly and rotate to make sure we get all the oil. We check, we see a little bit of oil on there. So we'll go back in again, uh, pressing again and rotating the, the tissue to make sure all of the oil is removed, at which point we can store it for the next use by putting the cover back in place and put it in your toolbox ready to go. We'd like to show you a couple simple tricks on how to get an oil sample from your engine into your LubriCheck oil tester. With some quarter inch PVC tubing from a hardware store and some hollow coffee stirring sticks from a restaurant, you're able to make your own little assembly. We're checking the length against our dipstick to make sure that we insert the tube to the right level in the oil pan. Mark the tube with a piece of tape or a marker. Slide that tubing assembly into the engine. It's important that the engine is the same temperature as the LubriCheck. If you test the oil too hot or too cold it'll give you a bad result. Lightly suck on the tube and then hold the end of the tube with your tongue to prevent the oil from dribbling out. And drop about six drops of oil onto the sensor area. Notice that the oil comes up to the ridge around the outside. A better and maybe cleaner way of doing this is to dribble the oil into a disposable cup. This is particularly important if the oil is either hotter or colder than the LubriCheck. The oil will quickly get to the same temperature as the room or the garage where you're working. If you don't have the tubing available, you can do the same thing with the dipstick. It may take several trips into the engine, but you gradually will get enough oil into the cup to get sufficient to fill it up to the ridge around the sensor cup. With adequate oil in the cup, we position the cup over the lubricheck, turn it on, and in this case we're going to be dropping six drops of oil onto the sensor. You'll notice with the oil in place from the reflection that the oil is very level with the ridge around the sensor. With the oil in position and the, in, in the lubricheck running, we press the test button and we find that this oil gives us a number two. This indicates the oil is in excellent condition and ready for many more miles to go.